and there's level 10. Hello everyone, Big Ton here again. Another episode of Let's Play on the Vox server. This is my Frecromancer. There's Manello and Big Ton sitting there. Went ahead and loaded up on our mercenaries. I made it to level 9 thanks to a druid outside in Field of Bone that gave me some really nice buffs. So I got to level 9 and I moved inside Kern's Tower here. Folks on P99 would probably recognize this. It's a very popular hunting spot on P99 as well as on P2002. So I kind of just wanted to show off a little bit of how to fight on this server, a live server using mercenaries. Kind of sort of almost doesn't matter what these guys con because the mercenaries are so powerful at this level that you can pretty much just fight to your heart's content. I don't really need to worry about anything because I got a healer merc, a melee damage dealer merc, as well as a tank merc. So pretty much just sit here for however long I want. I just accidentally tried to dot the mercenary. Not try to help him. Came here to farm up some bone chips. You know, there's nothing worse than running off and Noticing that you're out of bone chips. However, I'm pretty sure there's a place you can buy bone chips off of a merchant. But just starting out, I don't have that much platinum, so... I'm going to go ahead and do it the more legitimate way by actually, like, just farming it. Plus, these are worth experience. I got myself marked as the puller and the main assist. So the mercenaries will attempt to assist whatever I have targeted, as well as, because I'm the puller, the mercenaries won't actually engage until the enemy that I'm pulling is, like, around where they are. So, like, basically I have to be close to where the mercenaries are, as well as the enemy that I'm pulling has to be by the mercenaries as well so like we all have to be together before anybody will engage the target resistance. a bit of resists going I don't want to do that big ton interrupted yeah the mercenaries are so powerful at this level as a matter of fact a tank mercenary can carry you all the way to level 60. At Three least level off. 60. Regrowth oh, now my regen's wearing off on everybody. Regrowth now maybe off. we might start to see a little bit of a challenge. Because so far I was just standing in the middle of Phil the Bone and just letting all those ready-to-attack stuff just walk right onto me. Of course, I had damage shield and whatnot as well, so it wasn't too big a deal. And send my pet in there. Passion. Got up with this dude. Really need to slow, but pull this red con. 
the target resisted. Yeah, hey, see how the mercenaries are just standing there? Because I'm set as the puller. They will not engage until sometimes I can get you killed, so you gotta be really careful. Because while you're the puller, even the healer won't engage. So that means like the healer won't even heal you if you need it. If you're like, you know, way out there. You just gotta be careful of where you are and you know, look at your surroundings. The target resisted. This did slow. Try right, one more time, and then we'll just sit down. Got him. Boom, got him. Yeah, the mercenaries have so much mana regen that you almost don't even have to worry about it. So if you like this solo, and you like EverQuest as much as I do, then you can't really go wrong on the live server. Got my pet to guard. I'm gonna go over here. And add this dude. The best way I find to get the Merc to do what you're wanting him to is to just drag the enemy so that when the enemy gets into the camp, it drags right over the top of him. Yeah, it's pretty easy. And you can pretty much do this type of fighting style, I'm pretty sure, to max level. I know for a fact you can do it into the 70s and the 80s, because I've done it before. I used to have, I'd have a full five-man group between me and my girlfriend. She'd be doing the same thing that I'm doing. And I think the only class that we would have a mercenary would be, I think, maybe the healer? Yeah, I think we'd have a healer merc, and she would box two characters, and I would box the rest. Manello interrupted. Yep, yeah, that mercenary is full mana. Fight yellows and reds all day. You saw that sit aggro. Especially undead, because undead are very prone to attacking whoever's physically closest. And obviously, if you're sitting, they're going to, you know, the get a free resisted. punch right to your face. And because you're sitting, it'll be max, it'll be whatever their max melee damage the is, resisted. which you can use to figure out what level they are. So you might notice that the loot window is not popping up. It's because the loot window will keep track of items you've already looted, like decided on how to loot. And once it's once you pick it, it just sort of remembers that, so you don't have to ever mess with it again. So like you can get it set up to eventually just distribute loot for you. And there's level ten. Bon guy. Everybody is now level ten.
looking like it wants me to do the new player and armor and weapons quests. Yeah, I'm not going to really worry too much about that because by the time I did that with all three characters, I could just, you know, grind through a couple of zones and, like, you know, gear up on Defiant gear. If you guys know different than me, and maybe that, you know, that armor is actually worth getting, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know, and I'll go ahead and do that, but... I think for the foreseeable future, I'm going to just do the classic killing enemies thing and just hoping that Defiant gear drops. So it looks like I pulled enough to get the Mercenary to drop to like about 50% mana. I'm already a bubble into level 10. Yeah, that Druid came up and gave me Flight of the Eagles and Chloroplast. That Flight of the Eagles lasts, lasts like an hour and a half or two hours or something like that. Still has over an, over 50 minutes left. I don't have to worry about slowing this one. It's a blue. Yeah, the innate region on those mercenaries is ridiculous. Not entirely sure if I'd be able to solo pull that one. Map up this guy here. Bonkai! Hey, pretty much just stand very close to the tank and let him pull it off of you. Try to slow this one. Big old nope. Resisted. Got him that time. Bon Got that conjuration skill. Go ahead and fizzle. Work on our next pool. Guy. Yep, just a bunch of rinse and repeat. This, this is pretty much how I play EverQuest. Bon Kai. Yeah, I'm going to try to show off, like, 
some of the different areas that I fight in while I'm doing the initial leveling up process. Not, not going to be too worried about like hot zones or anything like that. Unless it's a zone that I ve that fits in with the zones that I typically go to. But I'm not going out of my way to like try and fight in a hot zone. Unless, you know, it's a place I've never been or a new place or something like that. Then I might consider it. But I'm kind of trying to show off like the way I used to play a long time ago when I could have and should have been recording it back then, but I just, I didn't really know too much about making videos and all that at the time, so. I could have had years worth of videos made on the characters that I've had. Like I said, I didn't have any more character slots on the other server that I play on. At some point I will remember which button goes to the shaman and which button goes to the enchanter. Bon Kai. Alt three to go to the enchanter. Bon Kai. If I can get that tash in to make that slow stick. There's another mob. Go ahead and grab him. Now, with enough practice, you can make it very, very close to being in a group with different players. I mean, back when EverQuest was actually really popular and it was kind of one of the only MMOs to play, there's been a couple of times where the people that were in the group didn't actually know that I was boxing because I was kind of role-playing, so I used to, like use my other characters to answer the other characters so that the people in the group would think that they were separate players. But, you know, I had gotten so good at alt-tabbing between the windows that, you know, and, and I was talking with the, each of the individual characters, so there was no way to really tell. And boxing was relatively new back then, too, so... What's that, a monk beast lord item? Go ahead and set that to always greed. Greed, always greed. Yeah, once you uh once you set it in here, it tracks and you saw that it just because I have the necromancer set for need, so he automatically won that. So once you pick what you want as far as who to get it or what need greed, you just close the window and it'll automatically do it. A little lobby skeleton here. Oh, I didn't want to slow him. Manello interrupted. Wanna nuke him? Manello interrupted. So if you're liking these videos, go ahead and subscribe and Click the like button and stuff and let me know that you like it.
I'm going to keep making them, but it'd be nice to know if uh, people are actually enjoying these videos. Yeah, once I get high enough level, I'll start doing the quest to get the guy, these guys geared up. There's a couple of annoying aspects because there's a few of the quests that are based on faction. And, like, you can't actually complete the achievement until you get to the necessary uh, faction level. Like, the quest giver won't talk to you because they start out at dubious. So you actually have to do this other quest that requires you to run all the way across the zone and all the way back like dozens of times before your faction's high enough. It's like the last step of the quest process to get the item. I'm pretty sure that I can't show it to you until I'm... Uh, of the right, I gotta be the right level for it. Cause like it doesn't even show up in your little, uh, achievement thing. Which, speaking of which, I will try to see real quick if I can find it. I think it's in here. Did it. Quest? No. That's not it. I don't remember what the window is called. Pretty sure it's achievements. Yeah, here we go. So this hero's journey tab. So it looks like there was, okay, looks like there's, it starts even at the low levels. So maybe I'll change my strategy here and start working on these. So I only ever saw these when I uh, was already like high level, but I didn't know there was, you know, level six. To level 10, level 11. Yep. Earrings. And finger slots. Got mana preservation in it. Yep. So I'll go ahead and change my strategy to working on these this hero journey quest. So maybe each video from here can be uh, maybe like one of the steps depending on uh, what exactly it is. This will give you uh, views of different zones, too. Some, these quests are spread out all over Norath, so... All right, well, with this new information here, I'm going to change my plan, so I'll go ahead and close this video out, and uh, I'll get set up to start working on these. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the Like button. Subscribe if you're new, put your comments down below, check the description for information, you can follow me on social medias, also there's a link to Patreon if you want to help support, because I got quite a bit of stuff I need to get, like a microphone, webcam, such things like that, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.